If you are a local musician, please listen up because you are needed. Mike Fisher was a musician carving out a place for himself on the local music scene. He'd been doing his thing and entertaining audiences for 25 years. He passed away in April, and now his friends and family want all the local musicians to help celebrate his life and legacy. This Saturday at Wesselman Woods from noon to 10, it's going to be a big show okay. celebrating Mike's life. So they're asking if you reach out to the Facebook page, Remembering Mike Fisher and let them know if you can come and bring a song or two. And if you're just coming to listen and to be a part of that celebration, bring a lawn chair. Uh, there'll be all kinds of activities for the family. And I think that what a great way to honor yeah. someone and to remember really them. Is. He's a musician. Bring all the musicians into town. Yeah, we've got quite a few good we musicians. Do. To, we don't have to go out of town. We you don't. Know? And that's, uh, what, that's what they're hoping for. So I hope you can... Good can join in and uh, celebrate Mike's life. Uh, the family and friends appreciate that. Yeah. Well, there's a farm, a farmer in India, and he found this rare yellow turtle. Yes, Isn't look at that. Something? And he was working in the fields. It's an Indian flat shell, flap shell turtle, and this one's believed to be an albino. The type of turtle is commonly found in places like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, all through India, Bangladesh. But an albino turtle is extremely rare. This one has a, one like this has only been seen once before. Okay. Isn't wow. that interesting? It's fascinating. I love it. I mean, it is. And this is like you might think maybe a yellow tint. No, that's a yellow turtle. It is a I mean, yellow it's very turtle. Yellow. So I love it. I think it's fas fascinating. That almost looks like something you would see like a fish under, you know, underwater, maybe in the deep sea or whatever yes, like it that. Yes, lost its color. It almost looks like it, 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 you know, almost neon kind of maybe a yellow. Maybe it's been under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't get all that sun, but it's interesting, truly. Oh, without a doubt. Well, they just they just saw that too. You know, that's, that's the most amazing thing I think. When you see these species you've never seen before, maybe only one other, right. and you're thinking, you know, obviously the species can't really propagate. You know, if it's they're not, you know, there are only a few of them, so it makes it tougher anyway. Let's put it that Nature. way. Nature, you just never know. That no, you really tricky. don't. Well, yeah. this is your favorite day to celebrate. It's National Hot Dog Day. Nope. <laughs> so you can pop one on the grill or toast it, yeah. or put it in the microwave. Whatever you do, don't put ketchup on it. I'm told the folks in what? Chicago uh, say do not do that. And the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, who knew there was one, yeah, really. established National Hot Dog Day back in 1991 to coincide inside with hot dog lunch on Capitol Hill. So Ron Rhodes will not be there for no, this will celebration. No, I will not be said. You know, I, I mentioned this to Jake and Gretchen earlier today, you know. I've had a chicken week, I've had an ice cream week, I've had a burger week, and yes, I've pie. had a pie week. And I will not have, a, you will not see a hot dog week. It's not going to happen. Leave that to Gretchen and Joe. Well, they and seem to like hot dogs, so they can have it. That's good. Nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. I just know how they're made. I know what the what meat parts, they, basically they're just the spare parts. That Joe are Bird is in up. my ear, and he said he will do it. <laughs> Thank Joe, you, Joe, Joe likes for, hot dogs. Stepping, for you. stepping up. I'll pass on that. Hey, here's the thing. I've got this poll going for National Hot Dog Day, even though I don't eat them. Uh, when I did, I used to put mustard on them, and that, apparently that's what most people do. Of 60 course. 60% put mustard. Ketchup, even though the hot dog council's they say no, it's a no no. <laughs> thirty two percent of the people, thirty two and a half percent, say they go with ketchup. Relish not getting much love. Plain gets more love than relish. I, you know, I always like to relish on it too. And I bet there are a lot of people who put ketchup, chili. mustard, and relish. Oh, chili, chili be another chili dog, one. cheese dog. Oh, there's so many things you could put on Pronto it. Pronto pup, dip it in that cornmeal. Here's the way I look at it. I'll just eat the chili with cheese, and I, you guys can have the hot dog. Well, know. that's a plan. I like I that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy hot dog day. We'll be back with more lifestyles right after this. Duh.